Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to quickly look at this $5 handheld in 5 minutes. Now depending on what store you go to, what state and what country you're in, this could run you between $5, $10 and $15. I found mine in 5 below for $5. It says that it has 200 classic games on it and it is very reminiscent of a Game Boy. Obviously there's 4 buttons on the front but we will take a look at this. Uh, the box leads you to believe that you'll get a dinosaur game, possibly a Jurassic Park, and uh, Legend of Zelda because the character looks like Link. Out of the packaging, it does look like a Game Boy. It has decent weight to it. It comes packed with, obviously, your instruction manual. It has an audio jack, and it comes with a USB adapter to charge your battery pack which is also included which is very nice for five dollars I think you're getting at least your money's worth material wise now the handheld itself is pretty tiny it says that it is a three inch screen across corner to corner the buttons don't feel horrible the plastic feels okay you can see on the seam if you put too much pressure on it I bet you could pull this apart though well, let's turn it on and see what how it sounds for only having one front facing speaker you know I have to say that the sound quality is very decent now of course the major selling point would be having 200 games in your handheld device now like I said there is one that's out there for 400 and when I was doing a little bit of research, I'm noticing a lot of people are paying on average $10. Uh, I picked mine up in New York State in the city of Plattsburgh, town of Plattsburgh, in their five below. This was $5. So going through the game list, there are a few doubles that just have different names, like the, the two Checkers games, the two different Othello games. But there are some licensed Nintendo games on here, Friday the 13th looks pretty cool again it sounds okay it controls as well as you would expect uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Chinese or Japanese kanji I'm not sure which it is but again it is the real game aside from the different title screen now at the time of recording this video I went through about 50 games just to make sure that Whatever I clicked on worked and everything seemed to work fine, it controlled well. Sometimes the names are very misleading where you have to click on it to discover what the game is. Other times you can, you know, make an educated guess like Turtles is obviously Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then uh, another example, Flying Star would be Fantasy Zone. And having this game, like, you would assume by the shape of the handheld that they'd all be you know, quote-unquote Nintendo games, but this was on the Master System. I don't think this was ever on the NES, correct me if I'm wrong. But, you know, still a really decent lineup. Again, like I said, like, they're not all home runs. I do not claim to be an 8-bit expert, so sometimes some of the games I just didn't recognize. But the ones I did recognize, the handful of games, maybe even a baker's dozen, are quote-unquote good games. Plugging the handheld into your TV is pretty easy, you know, it's an audio jack and then it goes to your AV out and one audio channel. Plug it in the back of your TV. Um, depending on where it is on your television or your monitor, it does take away the amount of wire you have and you have to use the little handheld as the controller. I guess that would be the one negative that I would say about it, but you are buying it for portability. Overall, I'm not going to crap on this thing. If you can find it for $5, even $10, it is worth it. There's enough on here for you to enjoy it in short bursts. It's nothing that, you know, is going to replace any console at home. But, you know, for a quick fix, some gaming on the run, if you're on vacation and you happen upon a 5 Below and you pick one up just to have it in the hotel room or with you on the beach, you know, it's worth it. I like it. I would definitely recommend this again at the price point. I don't know how legal it is to have these games on here, but it's fine. I like it. 
I would say 7 on 10. Recommended. Pick it up, $5 for sure. $10 if you're bored.